Hey, hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to Patea. You join me here Sunday afternoon. Must be, oh, no idea, about two o'clock. And uh, yeah, on Second Road. So a lot of requests for guys who want to see a daytime video and uh, some places you were interested in. So come join me and we'll have a look around. selling papaya that the squeaker noise you can hear there so traffic wasn't too bad getting into town there's still some some guys on big bikes no helmets and uh, uh, they're just going through the red lights and everything so just seem to do what they want Let me uh, go over here to the right hand side. Give you a look about the town on a Sunday afternoon. A wee bit different from a night time video. As you can see, traffic in front of me, that's it's starting to clog up there. Scorching hot. Where did I put my computer on? And it'll tell me 41 degrees. Yeah. So that should be a map started from about there on. I'll show you exchange rates. I did it on Thursday night and uh, it just highlights on a Friday night they drop the rate for, for pretty much all the currencies. I notice the pound, you know what I mean? That's, that's where I'm from. So I notice the pound always drops on a Friday night. So if you are arriving in the town, if it's a weekend, don't go and change all your money because likelihood is on the Monday, you're going to be disappointed when it goes back up. managed to go out with Nong on the other channel. Actually, if, if you like kind of daytime ride about, I did uh, four on the other channel. That's the name of the channel on the screen there, David Strachan, living in Patea. And uh, I did ride arounds in Cozy Beach, Pratamnak, then two in Jump TN. And then I finished off that series with a nighttime uh, Pratamnak Jump TN ride. So if you want to look around a, a different area, it hasn't got the nightlife that this place has got, but actually for, for living, it probably makes a lot more sense. This guy couldn't be any further over to the right. But I will go to the left. I'm going to turn right into the, into the avenue here. see these trucks going about. That's three kilos for 100 baht, the small oranges there. And they're probably some of the best value for the fruit that you find about the town. They haven't been to Avenue Shopping Centre. It was a big fitness thing, not that I've ever been, but up on the roof there is a, there is a nice cinema. Now, it was a bowling. I'm not sure if the bowling's still open. Up on the first floor, Robin Hood. It's, uh, I think it's number two on TripAdvisor for restaurants in Patea. With uh, the Hilton being number one. So cutting through the avenue just takes you over to Soy 15. That 
it's there, it's right 15. As you can see, some of the bars are still closed. There's a lot of them don't open until late in the afternoon. I haven't been here a while, for a while myself, but Carando's always very, very good. I normally pop in there for pizzas and pastas and stuff like that. It's been a while. Just with Nong's work, I'm not getting into town as often. And here I am on a Sunday. We, we managed a very quick video out for lunch and then uh, she had to go to work. So. Taking the soy boomerang. Somebody said, Yeah, they're building things here, and he wanted to know what they were. So there they are. It's just a car park and some bars at the back. Just if I, instead of turning left into here, if I turned right just after it at the Amethyst Hotel. That would take us to the new um, Nicky's, who is moving out of Soy Bacow and uh, behind red, white and blue, essentially. So you can see here, during the day, these places will be open, just... There's nobody sits outside because it's too hot. It's only... Not jobs like me that go out this time of day. So I want to take a little look in here. I don't know if any of you know Denton. He used to own uh, Nadia's Kitchen. Anyway, he's opened a uh, there's bar here, Cloud9 Reloaded. That's it there on the left. And he's not, he never gets on my normal ride because I'm, I always kind of stick to the main roads. But very, very popular, especially with all the guys that play pool. Lots of little apartments down here as well. Now, far enough off the main road that it's quiet. Obviously, as always in Pitea, there's always plenty of things for sale. Well, it's Pitea City Hospital right in front of us, so it gives you an idea where Cloud 9 reloaded is. I haven't, I haven't spoken to Denton or I would go in and film, but I always like to speak to owners first before I do anything like that. looking at the exchange rates as we're passing. It's down about a half bat from uh, Thursday night. That's just said it's sorry, Diana. Guys, no doubt, will be out having their Sunday lunch. Harry's, the nest. On the left-hand side, we just pass Zip. 
They're all ones that I've uh, I've put on the other channel already. I'll turn right in the LK metro. That's the Las Vegas beer garden right behind me. The noise you can hear. And there's the champagne club and it is having some work done inside it, so hopefully that'll be reopening soon. It's a totally different feel here during the day and temperature. It is sweltering hot. I'm up to 42 on my machine now. 14.39. My usual guide for how busy the town is, <laughs> you can't use it during the day. Nine in Top Gun, all beers a hundred baht. That's, that's quite a cheap price for a go go bar. I think uh, Stunners has got one. I'm not sure what time it's on. But, uh, I think it's even cheaper than that. It's like 69 baht or something. Let me take you down there. Sorry, honey. like in an afternoon. I'm going a little bit faster than normal just because of the heat. It is sweltering. Temperature when you're out in the sun, probably about the 34, 35 mark. But in the sun, it ramps up very crap. I was just waiting to see, I don't know how many professional massages you would get in this street, but I think they'd all be professional, if you know what I mean. This uh, street has changed quite a lot. The motorbike just stopped in front. She's selling sunglasses. Yeah, I've said before, if you're if you're on a bike or a motorbike here, you need to uh, really be careful. No. The old telephone box used to be here, but she is now no longer. On the right hand side, Hemingway's. And they've got yeah, a few guys sitting outside. I'm sure there'll be a lot inside. Very popular for the Sunday roasts. They've got three branches. Uh, they've got there, John Tien, and one over at Mabrachan Lake. Back on the second road. We're cutting the Skaw Beach. Yeah. 
most of the cyclists I see, like if I'm out of the town, they're all wearing helmets. But when I come into town, you never see anyone with a bicycle helmet on. So I kind of stand out like a sore thumb. <clears throat> So at night time, they, uh, they close this road ahead of us, but it's open during the day. Hence why there's so much traffic coming down. Normally at night time, I'm dodging all the, all the trucks that are sitting here with all their, selling all their goods. That takes us right back to Soibacow. Nice to get in a bit of shade. Uh, Stunners Club is there. He hasn't got any signs up outside, but I did see it online. I think for the month of April. Danny Sports Bar there. Not very often I show you down this end of the town. My occasional ride that I do through uh, New Plaza. Easy corner bar. It's got a good crowd in it. I think that's sometimes some, uh, you know some of the things you forget. The um, some bars are daytime bars. We pass them at night and they're dead. That's twice that lady's nearly hurt me today. Once she stopped in front of me and there just now. Just about an inch away from my right hand side when she went past. Bloody crap. Very sexy man, she's no speaking to me. I'll take you all the way to the end. It's kind of famous for, uh, maybe famous is the wrong word, but it's predominantly cheap uh, hairdressing and massage places. Yeah, there's a hairdresser there, 100 baht in the window, so it's Just over two, two British pounds, two and a half euros, some of that. That is us all the way up to Dea Clank. I will try and turn.
I don't think I ever show you this side. If I knew these little side size better, I'd take you down them. There really is just uh, little bars and accommodation. That one there, Wither Spoons, very popular. And there's a huge menu. Sun cream on my arms. I forgot my legs, my knees are like. Pssst. I can fry eggs on them. Yeah, you'll notice a lot of renovation work, even on a Sunday. The days here have very little uh, bearing on work getting done. that new Turkish place. I haven't sussed out yet. I haven't seen any reviews on it yet, which is unusual. Okay, one of the guys said he'd been here five times and never knew about this little alleyway. Uh, I don't think these bars do uh, anything through the day. And these uh, massage shops there. Probably more geared towards the more mature sweaty craft. Oh, she was offering me some work, some sort of job. That takes us on the soy excite. Sweaty crab. And then on the soy chaya pun, just down here. Okay, yeah, where are we? 7th, so next week of the 14th. Oh, this guy's decided to turn left. See my camera. I'll let you look over at the right. The screen on my phone is so reflective just now. I can't see what you're looking at, so I crap.
So here we go. And just a little look around the town. I'll put a map up on the right hand side showing you where we've been. Let you see roughly where we started off and where we've finished. Thank you for joining me on my Sunday tour around the town. Whatever you are, be safe, take care. But most of all, have some fun. Just try not to do it in this heat. Because you know, life's just too short. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye for now.